Went to visit my mom in California. Uh, she was doing some house cleaning. Uh, she had a lot of stuff that she didn't want anymore, stuff that was just kind of in the garage. We packed up the truck with a bunch of stuff, brought it here, didn't really have a chance to look at anything yet. Everything's still kind of in the boxes. Today I have Chili. And I have Aolani. And we might be visited by some of the other dogs later in the episode, but for now we just have these two. Aolani is pretty excited. Yeah, she's always happy. Though. So our first item up is the Hawaiian edition of Monopoly. Now, a lot of you have probably seen the regular version of Monopoly, and as some of you may know, they actually do make different versions of Monopoly. So this is actually the Hawaiian version of Monopoly. Some of the stuff that makes it Hawaii. Let's see, well, it's got King Kamehameha here in the middle. Uh, it's got restaurants like Duke's Canoe Club, Roy's, got the Alamoana Shopping Center, Aloha Towers, Kahala Mandarin Oriental, uh, Royal Hawaiian, Kona Village Resort, uh, just to name some of the few. So pretty neat. Uh, you can also buy some beach properties, Waikiki Beach, Hanuma Bay, Sunset Beach, Diamond Head, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, so it's basically just Monopoly, but just uh, with some of the Hawaiian landmarks, which is pretty neat. So next up we have, whoa, it looks like we have a big fan of some sort. All right, this side is gold. And then if you flip it over to the other side, it's silver. Um, we're probably gonna use this as some type of uh, wall decor. I don't know what side we'll put it on. Maybe the gold side. Silver side's pretty nice too. Either way, pretty cool. Um, it does make a lot of wind. So it is a practical piece of uh, wall art that we could actually use if our power goes out and it's really hot in the summertime. We could whip this sucker out and definitely cool ourselves down. Uh, there's a little sticker on the back here that says Japan. So this was made in Japan. So this is probably straight from Japan, which is pretty cool, super authentic. So that is the Japanese fan. Next up, a playing card dispenser. This is how the dealers get your cards out to you, just like that. Uh, this is something that I remember uh, my grandmother using back in the day. It's all wood construction. Uh, it's got a little slide out top here, just like that. This piece here is what uh, pushes the cards forward. And that squeaky noise that you hear, there's uh, metal wheels on the back of this. They probably need to be lubricated a little bit, but it, it basically roll on the inside. And then the curved angle here is what pushes the cards down into uh, the opening here, which is pretty neat. Definitely holding on to this. Uh, like I said, it's something that I remember playing with as a kid. Uh, so we're definitely gonna get some use out of this. I already have another uh, set of poker chips that go along with this piece. So now that we have the two pieces together, we have our whole uh, playing card set, which is pretty cool. And now it's time to take a sip of some beer. I think we're drinking Modelo's today. Out of the Goliad Brewery uh, glass, which is our favorite brewery in Texas. And I wiped this off here so you can see we have our Texas coasters. So we got our Texas coaster, with our Texas glass, uh, and our Mexican beer. So, you know, it's all the same down in that region. You know how it goes. Next up we have, what do we got? Oh, we got over here, she's pointing to me. There's already stuff on the side. Some Coca-Cola tins, which are pretty neat. Uh, this is Four Seasons. In the picture here, you can see the different seasons as far as the way the people are dressed. Summertime, all the way down over here to wintertime. Basically, it's always a good time for Coca-Cola. This one's really nice. It's a little, it has like, the, this is like a deep dish, like a deep dish pizza. Uh, this is 1908 Calendar Lady. Uh, this exacting reproduction of colorful art was first used on a 1908 calendar from the archives of the Coca-Cola Company. Both feature original Coca-Cola artwork. These are reproductions, they're not originals. Looks like these were purchased at the World of Coca-Cola. Uh, this one says $6, this one says $11.95. I don't know if they're worth more now. I'm not sure when that pricing was from, but these are two really cool pieces. So those are the Coca-Cola serving trays. We got a box that says round the clock. Uh, this says round the clock action wear pantyhose cocoa cream. <laughs> $2. This is a large size. Oh, stately large size. <laughs> All right, so let's see if, what kind of pantyhose are in here. 
And there's no pantyhose in here. It looks like turquoise jewelry. We have some really cool little bracelets that are really nice. Bangles and stuff. Here's another one here that has uh, some cool uh, artwork on it. Oh, this is pretty cool. So here's another little, little silver necklace of sorts, which is pretty nice. Some really cool turquoise necklace stuff. Check it out. Pretty fancy, huh? Yeah, that's pretty nice. This looks like, what is this, like mother of pearl? Have some really cool rings, which are nice. Look at that, fancy. I can be like the turquoise man now and just wear turquoise rings all the time. Look at, fancy. This one looks like, this is some kind of cool like uh, Mexican design. Kind of goes with my tattoo there. Another large turquoise necklace. Check me out, fancy. If you see me around town, you'll be like, there goes the turquoise guy. Uh, a couple other rings in here, which are pretty cool. Um, and then one more necklace. A lot of this stuff was my grandmother's stuff and she was really heavy into costume jewelry. So I don't know if this is like real silver or anything. A lot of this might just be, you know, I don't even know if the stones are real. I'm not quite sure how to authenticate it. So I'll have to look into that. Visually, really, really nice pieces. Uh, just some really cool uh, vintage style turquoise jewelry, which is really nice. This one's stuck on my finger. This one's not coming off. There it goes. All right, we got it off. I actually really like this one. I think I'm gonna wear this one. The front of this box says Princess House. So Princess House, uh, what I've I think discovered is uh, kind of like an Avon. They have a catalog full of different um, cookware, houseware type things. Basically go and sell it to your friends and your family and anyone that's willing to buy it. And then I believe they also have like Princess House parties. So a lot of these boxes, they haven't been opened. Let's see, let's open up this one here. So uh, in the lid of this box, there was this, uh, what looks like a little glass stir. And it has these little glasses, check out these little glasses uh, to pour your drink in. It's got the six little glasses. Now, a lot of this stuff, I don't know what the price of any of this stuff is. Um, I'm sure it's gotta be worth something um, because it's all basically brand new. None of this has been used before. Uh, I'm not quite sure when this stuff was manufactured. Maybe the 80s? What do you think? 80s? 70s, 80s? Definitely not from the 90s. No, I don't think it's from the 90s. Because there's, there's, a, there's a kind of like film on all of the glass. That's just, that could just be dirt, yeah. That's that's what you call patina. Uh, don't rub off that patina. If you've ever watched Antiques Roadshow, what do they tell you? Don't clean anything. Lamp candles. Hurricane lamp candles. What's a hurricane lamp candle? Tim is telling me the hurricane is a shape, for those of you that don't know. Oh, wow, what is this? Lamp candle, pretty cool, check that out. Take your little votive candle, you can get those at Ikea, or any kind of candle, actually, yeah, throw it right in there, light it, and that goes right on top. Pretty nice, right? Or a battery operated LED candle, that would be really nice. So I know at bars, they have those drinks called hurricanes and they usually serve them in this type of glass, which would make sense why it's called a hurricane. Pretty cool, okay. So these are really nice. Uh, I don't know if we'll use these, but they're really nice candle holders if you're someone who's like vintage candle things. Hi Kudo. Next up we have uh, Lust Lustracraft. Multi-core construction stainless steel cookware. Uh, this is a product of the West Bend Company in West Bend, Wisconsin. So this is good old American cookware. This is all brand new stuff. Cookware that still is all in the plastic. Uh, there's some dead silver fish in here, so that's a bonus. But yeah, these pots are really cool. These are really nice quality pots. I could probably actually get rid of uh, the pots we have now because we have a mis mismatch of pots and a lot of them are not really the best quality pots. Very heavy uh, construction. Um, super nice. It's got all the original paperwork in here. Stainless steel division. Is there like a lifetime warranty on this? There is. Full unlimited warranty on non-electric parts. We have a full warranty on this brand new set of pots from 
who knows when this stuff is from. Who knows, the company may not even be in business anymore. Uh, recipes for pan, pan broiled sirloin steak. Uh, tells you how to preheat your utensils. Oh, check this out, what is this? I don't know what this is for. It looks like a movie reel. I know that's not what it is. <laughs> this is some kind of masher. Not for mashed potatoes though, right? Because mashed potatoes usually has holes. This one doesn't have holes. It's a solid one. What is this for, people? It's some kind of masher. Masher of disguise. Creative cuisine, check that out. Old school, uh, what's that called? Uh, not Steve Reichlin. It's like prime rib. Oh, no, what's the one that's called? Beef Wellington? Kinda looks like Beef Wellington, but it's not. Uh, still in the plastic. It's got a whole bunch of recipes, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna have to definitely uh, put this old school cookware to use. Glad the lust to craft. So next we have a Kitchen Delight seven piece cookware set. We're gonna have to decide on which one we're keeping. Well, this one is also brand new in the box. New old stock as they say. But the cool thing about this one is the other one was stainless steel so it just looks like, you know, regular stainless steel cookware. This stuff is colored, so check this out. It's got the little gradient, so it's a little darker towards the edges, which is really nice. Uh, if you can see how the color blends, how it's got this like color band around the edge here, it's a little darker, and then it lightens up as it gets towards the middle here, which is really nice. These are also made in the USA, so good quality cookware. But this set is really nice. I really like the colors on this. Here's like a little, what is it called? It's like a little saucepan. This is a lot lighter than the Lustacraft. So this is aluminum. The other one was stainless steel. Um, so maybe we'll have to try it out and see uh, which one we like. Maybe if you're a, um, a chef or someone who cooks a lot, maybe you have a tip for us. Uh, which would you uh, pick if you had the choice between the two and you had to only keep one? Would you go with uh, this set here or would you go with the other set? Maybe you can leave a comment down below uh, and let us know what you think. We have the New Wave Induction Cooktop. New Wave uh, has their own like style of cooking. It's called induction cooking. And from what I remember from the infomercial, the way this works is you use special type of cookware that works with this induction cooktop. And basically this, this is a cooking area here. You put your pan on, cooks your food. It's not supposed to burn your food. And then also the surface is supposed to be cool. It's supposed to be cool to the touch. It won't burn your hand. Uh, which is really weird. I don't know how that works, but it won't burn your hand when you touch it But if you have your the induction pan, it's still hot. I don't know how that works, but that's just science uh, We had the cooktop and I was like that's great The problem is we didn't have any of the cookware, but look what we found We found a box of new wave cookware now. This is the perfect green uh, Series of cookware by new wave non-stick perfect green so you're not I guess you don't have to use like oil and stuff right it's just non-stick. You just throw food on here and it works. Jeez. Yeah, so this has that copper coating. If you've seen those copper pan commercials, they usually like throw just the cheese in here and then they're like, look, it does, they like swirl it around and then just like falls right out of the pan. You make fried cheese. Um, that sounds pretty good actually, fried cheese. We should make some of that. So with this cookware, we use this cooktop and it's gonna heat up the food. It's not gonna burn. And then when we remove the pan, if I touch this with my hand, I'm not gonna get burned. At least that's how it's supposed to go. So now that we've seen this, I don't know if we're gonna keep the other cookware set. Right? Uh, it's very small, very compact, very easy to clean. Probably gonna have to do a video uh, review of this because I'm really excited to try it out. I've never tried it before. Um, and now we have it. So yeah, we're gonna definitely give this a shot and we'll let you know how it goes. By the way, if you've noticed, I have more dogs here in the video now. I have Kudo, who is licking his foot. Puff, uh, there's also a little girl, Puff, Princess Puff. Uh, what other names does she have? Bad girl, she's bad girl too. But she also likes to get her belly rubbed. I know, she's so sweet. Next up, we have this super awesome vis. It's made by Viscount. So it's a 20, it's a 27 piece punch set. Has the actual punch bowl. It has the ladle. It has all of the cups. And then it also has these cool hooks that actually hook on the punch bowl that you hook your cups to. This is probably glass, right? Or crystal, you think it's crystal? Maybe just glass? Let's open this up real quick and check it out. Ooh, these are really nice. 
This is for your fancy friends that come over. You can fill it with Tampico and Captain Morgan, but you serve it out of this fancy punch bowl and they think, wow, what is that fancy drink you made of? They don't have to know you're just making some ghetto style jungle juice. It's really heavy, so this is good quality stuff. A Junior Zitha. They make larger ones, but this is a Junior one. And check this out. You can play like the Greeks of past. It has a bunch of different sheet music in here. Take your piece of sheet music like so. You slide it in the bottom like this, and then you just pick along uh, to the song here. Well, it needs to be tuned, but that was basically Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, Pop Goes the Weasel, Mary Had a Little Lamb. You know, all the, all the kids' classics are in here, which is pretty neat. Uh, like I said, this does need to be tuned because it was off a little bit. Uh, one of the strings in the box here is broken, so it is missing one of the strings. Probably something I can pick up at a local music store. Probably wouldn't be too hard to replace that. The fact that you can pick this up, put the sheet music in and play songs just like that, uh, is pretty amazing. When do you think this was made? I want to maybe say the... I'm gonna go ahead and say, based on the clothes these kids are wearing, this is probably from the 60s. Made by Harbert Italiana SAS from Milano, so this is probably from Italy. A really cool piece of vintage musical uh, history here with the Junior Zither. Sliding in from the side. Makeup bag. Could be a pencil holder of some sort. What do you think it is? Any guesses? Cadillac emblems. There's a bunch of different Cadillac emblems in here from all different types of different Cadillacs. It looks like some older ones, some newer ones. My mom purchased this uh, bag of Cadillac emblems from a police auction way back when. I don't know why. I don't know why she bought these or what she planned on doing with them, but they're pretty cool. Remember? I don't know if you guys remember. There was a trend back in the day where people used to wear these on their chain around their neck. So maybe we can make some necklaces out of these and bring that bring that fad back. What else do you think we could do with these? Christmas ornaments? Maybe I'll hang them from the ceiling and make some kind of art installment. What do you think? Maybe a belt buckle? I don't know. If you're someone who needs a Cadillac emblem or may know someone who needs one, comment down below and let me know. Maybe I'll send you one. Next we have... A mystery box, mystery box, mystery box. Let's see what's in here. This is from, it looks like it says from China. And let's see what's inside here. Okay, so it looks like we have a frog on the bottom. And then we're gonna open this up all the way. And there's a cat. So it's a cat trying to catch a frog. Let's open up this one. Let's see how this one opens. Oh, this one's cool. Pretty neat. This is cool, man. This is pretty awesome. I like eagles. Eagles are cool. Kim's dad really likes eagles. He likes eagles way more than I do. For those of you who don't know, Kim's dad, Joe, he is an eagle fanatic. He's got eagles all over his house. You go to his house, it's like eagle stuff everywhere. Whenever uh, we like, you know, go buy him things or go shopping, we were like, okay, what can we buy him? It's either usually tech stuff, woodworking tools, or something that has to do with eagles. <laughs> He's usually, he's usually pretty happy with those gifts that when we get them, so. So this is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool posters. Not sure when these were made. They look like they're definitely older pieces. The Eagle one's definitely awesome. Those were the cool Chinese posters. Thank you. So next up, we have the Walt Disney Character Piano Book. 15 keys, 10 songs. Really cool. Try to be careful taking this out. Still have the box and everything. Check this out. Walt Disney Character Piano. Now this is a 15 key piano. Uh, this is made in Japan. It's uh, 10 songs. If you open this up, you'll notice it's just a book and the music is attached on the inside. So as you flip through, you'll see there's different types of music. Mary Had a Little Lamb, Pop Goes the Weasel, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So all the same hits 
uh, that we got with the Junior Zither, but in piano form. Everything still works. Um, again, you can just play along. For instance, let's, let's play a song here. Uh, it's just numbered. Uh, there's numbers on the music and then there's numbers on the bottom. So we're gonna play a song. Go ahead and see if you can guess what I'm playing. That was Jingle Bells, pretty cool. So again, super cool, super fun to play, easy to learn, really cool songs, great for any child or any adult who's still a big kid like myself. This was something from my mom's childhood that she had when she was a kid. Um, I'm gonna definitely hang on to this. This is a Walt Disney character piano book made by Jamar. This is the Walt Disney electric drawing set. Draw your favorite cartoon friend. This is for ages five to 12. It has its own little case, with its own little carrying handle here. Kind of like a little mini briefcase. It has a cool little metal clasp here that holds everything closed. Pop that open. This is really old, man. This box is like falling apart. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, whoa. Uh, property of, nobody signed it, so it doesn't, that means it doesn't belong to anyone. But it has these old Disney, it's like kind of like a tissue paper almost. And they're basically, you put them on and you can trace them with the light. They're, some of them are kind of stuck. Lady and the Tramp, Seven Dwarfs, there's Snow White. Uh, not Snow White, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland. So yeah, so that's in this part here. Down below is the actual drawing surface. There's actually a light bulb underneath here. You plug this in, this lights up, then you stick your tracing on top, just like that. And then you take your white sheet of paper and then you go ahead and draw your character. So it looks like someone drew some characters already back in the day. <laughs> this is probably my mom, so it's probably belonged to her back in the day. So these are probably some of her drawings. You know how I know it's hers? Cause right here it's signed Roberta, which I know it's my mom's stuff. This is Walt Disney World Series. This is Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck playing baseball. A squirrel with a mushroom that says stoner on top. <laughs> some kind of, Stoner squirrel with a mushroom. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, one of the chipmunks, which is cool. Oh, here's the instructions for this. We'll put that over there. Some more blank paper. Gary Old Witch Lady with a baseball bat or a broomstick. I don't really know what that is. Sherry Lewis and Friends is a car that somebody drew. Uh, Lady Tramp and their friends. Check that out, pretty cool. There's uh, Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse playing baseball right there. Jiminy Cricket, somebody drew Jiminy Cricket. An old school felt tip pen that may or may not still work. Oh, it still works from back in the day. Felt tip pen still works. Charcoal pencil and it also has a sharpener inside so I can sharpen it my charcoal pencil. Everything I need to get started. Got some of my mom's old drawings from back in the day. It's got the pens and the charcoal pencil. It's got all the instructions along with all of the tracing things. So we got the whole complete set. I don't know how many Disney drawings I'm gonna do, but definitely something we're gonna keep. We're plowing through, Chili. We're getting through everything, huh? I know, I know. 